Welcome back to Bottled Water, everybody. We are going to do one more reaction video because I'm working on our next top five video, so enjoy. So what we have here is Franco TV and apparently he's in the desert. Like I, I haven't been watching any of this stuff for like a few months now. So uh, let's see where this goes. All right, right off the bat, that's, that's not in America. I, I've been to the American desert and that's not it, but uh, great intro, really. All right, look, I'm pretty sure by my video analytics that you guys really don't like my intro, but this one's way longer than my intro. Is, is it too loud? What is it? Okay, so I just made it to Sierra Gordo. So I have no idea where where this is filmed, Sarah Gordno or whatever i i'm not gonna look it up um mainly because i i don't care it's somewhere in the west uh nevada or i don't know utah or uh what's a western state um maybe california but why would anybody go there it's just a bunch of communists What is up guys thank you for watching franco tv so today and more importantly thank you for watching bottled water yeah yeah see what i did there oh, he's got a little area 51 hoodie oh i like franco so i'm gonna talk a lot of shit in this video i've made it to amagrosa opera house now this place is literally in the middle well not in the middle but right next to death valley which is actually one of the most so he is in california that's, that's unfortunate. Like, I, I hear they're not doing so well right now. Uh, they're recalling their governor, a uh, bunch of debt, lots of fires. Maybe not now, but there's, you know, it burns a lot. Dangerous places around this area as far as missing people-wise goes, and a lot of other things with it as well. Now, one of my main locations that I'm actually trying to get to is Cerro Gordo. Now, Cerro Gordo actually has a very really cool history to it i'm trying to see if i can get in contact with the owner so that way i could be able to explore that place because that's another creepy ghost town i don't know if it's haunted or anything i i i have to uh a, a part of me really wants to know what you got to do to own a town like not as a mayor obviously if you own a ghost town you're not the mayor you bought a bunch of pointless land but like who do you run that through like if everybody's gone and it's a ghost town, who who does ownership befall to? And how do you buy a bunch of dry wood buildings? Actually look into it, but apparently there's abandoned treasure that is out there. But in the midst of finding these cool locations, I've actually came across this really cool place here, which is pretty much semi like another ghost town. And I mean, look at it. Everything out here is like a dried up area i'm glad i actually came here during winter season because if this would have been any other season i would have been in big time danger okay so 
I've now just made it to one of the most, in fact, I just now made it to America's most dangerous land called Death Valley. I mean, Death Valley is dangerous in name. I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, downtown Chicago is way more dangerous than walking around in the desert in Death Valley at any point in time. Or like New York, since they removed a billion dollars from their police force, or LA, or Portland, or Seattle, or, yeah, you know, I could keep going. Here, if coyotes don't get you, nature will. It gets so, deep revelation. Apparently, coyotes, not a part of nature, which makes you wonder, what in the hell? are coyotes they're not nature man didn't make them what kind of evil alien spawn are coyotes it's up to 133 degrees in this location this is the whole view of this whole little town out here look at this these are old buildings that used to be here You could see what looks like another access port to another mine. But I'm pretty sure all of these are sealed out here, just for public safety. All right, so this here is actually what makes my job that much more dangerous, because now I am in rattlesnake territory. You can see right All right, maybe when I edit this, I'll uh, just, you know, give the range of the Western Diamondback rattlesnake, but you've been in, in rattlesnake territory. Uh, for a while. Uh, there's Western, Eastern. Uh, they're, interesting, there's no Midwestern Diamondback Rattlesnake. Uh, I guess they just, uh, they don't like it. Mm. They don't say, oh, every time they want to try to get around you. Right over here. Protect heritage. Please do not disturb this sensitive archaeological area. Warning rattlesnakes. This is the archaeological area that they're actually referring to. Um, this is pretty much, you don't want to disturb this land. However, it's riddled with rattlesnake. This is actually, by far, one of the most amazing viewpoints that you can see out here in Death Valley. However dangerous, but beautiful. It is so dry climate out here that the whole lake bed that probably used to be here thousands of years ago, or maybe even a hundred years ago, is now completely dry. All right, I'm actually gonna get a little bit closer to the edge here. is kind of extremely dangerous. I don't recommend you do this. You fall down there and that's about the end of it. You can even see like a little water puddle right up there. Once again, great shots, great views, awesome views. It's uh it's winter, which in Death Valley is warm. I got it, you know, whatever, who cares. But uh the snakes aren't out, and uh, yeah, don't don't fall down the big rocky hills, mountains, or outcroppings, or whatever they are. I've never seen a place so intimidating. <laughs> this is literally like I'm walking on broken tiles. The Salt Lake area that I'm actually trying to get to is actually further down there towards the ground. I think about traveled or hiked. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna we're gonna fast forward because I've I lived in the desert literally lived in the desert for 19 months and I could give two shits about how the desert looks I I don't care so we're gonna go to the point to where he's actually doing stuff because I don't like the fucking desert. I'm up here. The, the drive was crazy, but I don't know where anybody is at. And it's like a quiet ghost town. Uh, there's no trespassing signs everywhere. So I'm trying to get in contact with somebody before I get shot at. Oh, I got a car coming right back there. So hopefully that is the guy. Hopefully. Well, let me see. All right. So I just got to talk to a lot of the... All right. So we know he's not alone. There's some people there, which is kind of weird. I mean, it's an abandoned place. And... Uh, God, do you, do, 
anybody ever just randomly think about how horrible the Dragon Ball Evolution movie was? I don't know why that popped in my head, but it's really bad. People here from Saragoto. Like, honestly, this movie was so horrible that you can't even find, like, a decent, I don't know, like, a decent trailer for it over, like, 320p. Like, it's just bad. Just look at it. It's so horrible and bad and just a spit in the face of so many people and, oh, God, it makes me so angry. Everybody here is so freaking nice. Um, I just spoke with Brett, too, and I guess I have permission to go ahead and explore uh, the property. Unfortunately, I won't be able to go into the mines just because they're extremely dangerous and anything can happen. Um, but I will be bringing up mines to come as well. But uh, right now, what I'm going to do is probably show you around this cool little town area. There's a lot of historic artifacts that are out here that I'm. you guys are going to love it. And... and I'm definitely going to fast forward this because, yet again, nothing's happening. And uh, I really want i want something to happen. I have a really short attention span. Can't believe I did that 35-minute Mind Seed video, honestly. Because, yeah, uh, ADD. ADHD, QRF, RTV, gasket, sealant, whatever. And then... Uh... Jose Ocha got away and laid low at Fort Independence until the Treaty of 1865, and that was the end of it. I don't know if they're real 22 guns or if they're toy guns, but those look like 22 guns. Conspiracy theory, conspiracy. Oh, I like this guy's books. Ego is, ego is the enemy. That is very true. Never ever have an ego. Nobody likes somebody with an ego. Look at this. Now all these things here were all left here. So is there an actual investigation in this this video? Um I I feel like I feel like Ian Malcolm in Jurassic Park where he says, you know, you know the line. Uh, now, now, eventually, you do plan to have dinosaurs on your on your dinosaur tour, right? Hello. Oh, hello. Yes. I really hate that man. I mean, to be honest, uh, it's just, uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Like an old museum. Yeah, some silver ore. Pocket knives. Oh, that is so cool. Shell. Shells for some rounds. Oh, wow, the boot hooks things. Wow. Did they really find that? Look Alrighty then. I think we're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna... We're about to end this video. Um, yeah, because nothing's happening and so not a great reaction video but uh hope you enjoyed some of the the things i mean who doesn't like the things so um yeah look at the detail you can see the whole detail imprintings on the muzzle shaft and that's gonna be enough of this shite for today Day. Once again, I am still working on me. Yep, 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 yep. My next top five video. Um. Well, fuck. I, I guess I got to do a word. Uh, let's call it. Uh. Well, I don't know. Let's just. Uh. I don't know. Write whatever you want down in the comments below. Yeah, let's just have a free for all. Crazy words. Nothing normal. Shallabaster. That's just came to my head shallabaster write that down in the comments below make sure to like subscribe blah 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 and i will see you guys next time when i get to my computer to do a video